Here's a story from Patrick and Maria in Melbourne. They've got a house that they rent out to people on stays.com and also to people on Airbnb. This time last year in November, they sent me a message through the email and said, this is our couch. We rented it out to a couple and they had a dog. The dog ripped up the leather and it's shredded it basically on the couch. Please help because we've got some more visitors coming next month. So their problem was they've got a couch and they didn't want to spend too much money fixing up the entire thing, reupholstering the whole thing. So they came up with the idea of creating some new covers or maybe some slips to go over the existing mattresses. And the big point of it was that there wasn't enough time to get it all done. So here's what happened next. We got uh, an email from them and they showed us the mattresses, gave us some approximate dimensions and showed us the damaged areas. From there, we were able to see how much material was needed and the fun part was picking a fabric. So we, via message, shot through some examples. Patrick wanted to go with something that was pretty groovy because he's got a groovy kind of pad happening, but that also goes with the rest of the couch. And the examples I showed initially were a bit out there and here's what we came up which was a bit of a step back. There was some solid black, a black stripe, a black pattern and what we ended up going for was this very mottled in-between color. So it's a sort of gunmetal gray color in an outdoor fabric. The reason why we chose this outdoor fabric was one, it's reasonably in inexpensive, it's fade proof, mildew resistant, it's child proof, and it's also stain resistant. That means it's really good for these high wear, high traffic areas, and certainly for a couch bottom. And given the dimensions of each of the cushions, we started to sew up the cover and made it so that it would fit snugly and zip and easily remove or put back on. My tip normally is when you're washing cushion covers to wash it in the cold so it doesn't shrink and try and dry it in the shade as well. We made it up and sent it down to Melbourne and it was quickly put on and ready for the next guest to come and stay at their place. And here's the result. So it looks really cool. Nice little fit on there and they can be sure that it's never going to happen again because they do have that the place open for people who have pets. This won't happen because it's a fabric and it's a really high quality, high rub factor fabric. Looking at this project now that it's complete, and looking back at it, I think if there was something that I would change, well, not change, but if there's something I would add, it would be, I should have sent down some Dacron. Normally, we make everything here on site, but in this case, we sent down the cushion cover down to Melbourne. I would have added some Dacron, and in this image here, you can see what Dacron is. Dacron's that fluffy stuff. It's about an inch and a half sort of thick, and it wraps around your foam, and that's what gives your mattress that full look. In the photo of uh, the finished job that we did for Patrick and Maria, you can see those ripples inside the mattress and that's because it hasn't quite filled up enough and Dacron eliminates that. So Dacron fills it and makes it look full and round and curvy and delicious and comfortable and inviting. It still looks great, but I think that's where the advantage of Dacron uh, comes in. It's just that extra layer of softness and it gives the cushion a nice full look. And I really should have uh, cut some off and sent some down for them to wrap around their, uh, their foam and then they could have put the mattress uh, cover over the top of that. And so here's uh, some examples of what Dacron filled mattresses look like. If you've got a project where you need a cushion cover only made for your couch or bench seat, we've also done cushion covers for outdoor day beds. We can even make the mattress as well for you if yours is really tattered and you can simply create something that's replaced. Or maybe you've got a footrest or an ottoman and you need a cover to go over the top of that. Other times you've got an existing couch and you just need a new cover, we can certainly help you with that.
if you need any more info on how to choose colors or how to go about putting an order together, then simply jump onto the website, shadydesigns.com.au or send us a photo of your couch and then we can go from there. <laughs>